Hello, BPF people. My name is Martinez. I'm a software engineer at Isovalent working on Cilium's data path. And in today's talk, I would like to show you some superpowers of eBPF in tracing and networking. For this purpose, I'll be using PPF based Linux kernel network packet tracer to show some advanced optimizations in Cilium's data path. All right, let's introduce the tracer. At Isovalian, we built a Linux kernel networking packet tracer called Packet Where Are You or pronounced Peru. The tracer extracts the PPF metadata from the kernel and then it uses that to figure out which functions in the kernel are responsible for packet processing. Afterwards, it attaches PPF programs to those functions to do the filtering via kprobe interface. The tracer can be used not only for debugging networking issues in production, but also for development purpose. With this background information in mind, let's move to the networking part. A typical way in Linux to connect containers is to use L2 software bridge and virtual Ethernet peers, as you can see in the diagram on the slides. With Peru, we can observe a packet path in the Linux kernel when it's being sent from outside to the container. First, after the NIC passes the packet to the kernel stack, the net filter handling is happening. Afterwards, the fib lookup to determine the next hop, then the net filter handling again, then the packet is finally forwarded to the bridge net dev. The bridge net dev is doing a net filter handling again, then fib lookup, then L2 neighbor resolution, then the packet is being cloned, and finally it's being forwarded to the attached virtual Ethernet device. The virtual Ethernet device in the host network namespace transmits the packet by pushing it into the CPU backlog queue. And finally, it's being received by the virtual Ethernet device peer in the containers network namespace and it's being handled by the TCP IP stack. Let's take a look what happens with the exact path in Cilium's BPF based data path. For this, I'll be using the BPF host routing mode, which is heavily relying on the BPF redirect peer helper, which was introduced by my colleague Daniel. So let's run Peru and let's send the packet. As you can see, the packet is first handled by the BPF program, Cilium's BPF program, which is running on the TC ingress of the public facing device. And the program is using that helper to push the packet directly into the containers networking namespace. So we can bypass a lot of functions and it's not only giving us performance benefits but also drastically simplifies packet path. Finally we can visually compare the both call stacks. On the left side you can see the traditional container networking stack and on the right side Cilium's call stack. That was it. Thank you for your attention and happy to answer questions on Slack.